Joined now behind the mic with Cam Moon, the voice of the Red Deer Rebels, one of the more famous organizations, I would say, in the WHL. Cam, tell us about the expectations this year in Red Deer. They were expected to improve on last season's team. and Last season's team was the year after a Memorial Cup hosting year. And all things considered, it was pretty good. Team made the playoffs. They pushed the Lethbridge Hurricanes to seven games in the first round. So it was coming off a Memorial Cup hosting season. All in all, pretty good. This year, it should be as good or maybe even a little bit better. A lot of players back from last year's club. A lot of depth on the blue line. And you would think should be somewhere in the mix to push for top spot in the Central Division. Although I think if you look at the Eastern Conference of the WHL, the East Division is stronger than the Central for sure this season. But Red Deer should be in the mix with Lethbridge and Medicine Hat pushing for that top spot. As it sits right now, it's been consistently inconsistent. Some good nights and bad nights sitting with a 7-6 and six record, which has been okay, but not great to this point. And we'll see how it goes moving forward, but I'd like to think that the potential is there for this club to push for top spot in the division. Yeah, parity perhaps reigning as it is in the QMJHL in the early part of the season. Yeah. I wanted to ask too about the fans in Red Deer and the mindset they have, because it's obviously not a big city like the Portland, Calgary, but it's a market that's hosted the Memorial Cup, back it's hosted the World Juniors, you have Brent Sutter involved. Do the fans in Red Deer expect a team that's successful more often than not? Are they kind of perceived as a bit of a big market? No, no, I think you're right. They do expect to be competitive and to have a, a good team more often than they don't, for sure. Being right between Edmonton and Calgary, it's just an hour and a half to each of those cities. Red Deer is the midpoint. You get all the Calgary and the Edmonton media all pretty much comes in here. I mean, you can get the papers here and the TV here and the radio here. It's almost like you're part of both of those cities. So the expectation level within itself, I think, would be strong. And people in central Alberta are proud of the Red Deer Rebels Hockey Club. I mean, it's the number one draw in this city, which is the third largest city in Alberta, behind Edmonton and Calgary. And the fans, they expect to see a good competitive club year after year. So that throws the onus on everybody around here to try and ice one like that. And I think this year they most certainly have. And two guys leading that team, NHL drafted players, Brandon Hagel of Buffalo, and perhaps even more interested people here, Lane Zablocki, big Red Wings contingent of fans in this part of the world. Tell us about those guys. They both had real good seasons last year. Looking at this one, they're picking up where they left off. They're expected to be offensive leaders with this team. Brandon Hagel, really from the drop of the puck this year, has definitely done that. He has consistently put up numbers, more of a setup guy than a finish guy. So the Buffalo Sabre draft pick, he's it's his third year here with the team. And he's a guy that went right through that WHL Bantam draft, never selected. And the Rebels listed him as a 17-year-old. He had played triple A midget at 16, was one of the top scorers in the Alberta Midget League. He is from Morinville, which is just outside of Edmonton. And then he started his 17-year-old year in junior A and was getting, I think, some looks from some NCAA schools early in the year because he started off putting up points. He got lifted by the Rebels and came in, made the move to go to Major Junior, which has been good for him. It's been good for the Red Deer Rebels. He, in year three, is showing that maturation from year one to two to three that he's on the way to being a pro. Lane Zablocki came over in a deal last year with the Regina Pats. Very large deal at the time. The Pats were looking to add a defenseman, and they added Josh Mahura from the Red Deer Rebels. He's an Anaheim Ducks draft pick. And not really looking for next season so much as this year, as Regina's hosting Memorial Cup. And Mahura will be a, a big part of their back end, probably their number one blue liner right now. But he'll most certainly be in pro next season. The block he came over in, in the second half of the year was lights out. As far as the draft went, he just kept rising his stock, eventually a Detroit Red Wing draft pick. He's had a bit of a tough start, came back from NHL camp, and things were going a little bit slow for him. It's picked up recently. He won't be the first guy to come back from his first NHL camp and struggle a bit when he comes back, and that seems to be a bit of a constant with guys that go to their first one, but he had a bit of a slow start. He's starting to come around now, so that's good. The Rebels need him to be one of the offensive leaders. Also wanted to ask, too, about Alexander Alexiev. I'd seen projections that have him just outside round one, late birthday, his draft year is this year. Tell us about the Russian on the Rebels. Just returned to the lineup, got injured at the beginning of October, missed nine games, and that was a huge hit for Red Deer. He got hurt last year and missed the last couple months of the season, which was, again, even as a 17-year-old last year, he was a big part of the blue line. 
this guy's a smooth skating defenseman that can make great passes, finds the guys, can skate it out of trouble, can pass it out of trouble, doesn't panic. Very, very low threshold for panic. He's just solid. Yeah, you look at him and, and you can see that he's got pro written all over him. And knock on wood, he stays healthy the rest of the year. The NHL scouts are going to love this guy. It's not flashy, and he will get his points, but I wouldn't say he's going to be a real offensive guy, although he does quarterback to power play for Red Deer. wouldn't say like he's a true offensive type defenseman, but he, he can move the puck, he can skate it, totally looks like a pro, and I think his draft stock will continue to rise this year. Well, he'll be a player we're watching, see if he gets into that first round and see if he can contribute to success out in Red Deer. Best of luck to you and the Rebels, Cam, this season. Thanks for telling us all about it. All right, thanks very much. That's Cam Moon, the longtime voice of the Red Deer Rebels, joining us in the broadcast. You're listening to Karstar, Cape Breton Scream Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCB.